Welcome to Scotty Crafts and Wendy's World. Today I want to talk about the amazing Spellbinders Majestic Elements. These are incredible dies. I was lucky enough to be able to take a few of them home in the long weekend and have a play. Oh my goodness. I think I want every single one of them. <laughs> you mean you don't already have I every don't, single I one? I don't, but I want. I, I want. <laughs> I have to zoom in on these. These are quite special, these Spellbinders. So these elements. are layers and I think Adrian what we should do is put it out there to a challenge as to how many different ways people can use them. Once you understand the concept of these dies you'll be blown away. I agree. Now it does show you on the bottom of these dies all the different things and ways you can the use mix them. mix and match. This is 20 plus design so we want the plus. Yes we do. <laughs> Well, you show us what you've been doing. I okay, think. so when you get the dies out of the pack, there's lots of bits that you can layer together. So if you want to just emboss and cut this, what you will get is what you see here. So it'll cut a frame out but remain in the rest of your card. There we go. So it's cut out the middle bit yep, and it's and embossed all the, all around the filigree the and it's embossed and debossed the remainder. Okay, I'm just going to so, focus on the die that you use to cut it with. So if you did that on say an 8x8 page, if you have an ebosser or a green calibre and did it on an 8x8 page, you would have a hole in the middle here to create yes. your frame. So to get that hole, you would lay this one inside and that will cut this hole out that you see on my card here, that shape. But it will emboss only that on the outside and yes. cut just a little filigree. Then what you can do is if you want it to be a complete cutout. So it's like a complete separate frame. You layer that and then this is what you'll get. The complete item with the bit cut out in the middle so you can still put it over your photo but it is a separate item. You can see because it's... It sticks out the top yeah, of the, the completely card completely cut. Oh wow. Isn't that so clever? I just love it and it's when you see the dies uh, um, the layering. Yeah. yeah. You it's... don't get it when you look at the packet. No, you don't. So here's this beautiful little frame, which is featured on the inside of my card. Now to get that, you just basically cut that and layer this oval into the middle. And if you wanted, you could layer that in and cut it at the same time, so nothing's wasted. And that will give you that frame, believe it or not. When you look at the die, you don't see that. Not at all. Wow, I love it. You can, if you do it like this as well, you can actually take that out and you can cut it as a complete mat, which is, I think, on this card but behind. I've layered the oval over the top. I'm going to just look at the whole card and take us from what the outside is. So to the, the outside is this. Yes. The complete cut with the inside and the outside pieces. Yes. Then I've cut this as a complete piece, which you could cut out of the centre like this and layer if you want it in the same paper. Yep, if you bring the card next to the die, so yep, the there, that's here. it, there we go, then I can, that's cool. Yeah, so this is, see it's the same paper, a different paper here, so I've cut this out of a contrast, Yeah. but then I've layered this in, and then this, to cut the middle section that you see layered on top. I'm just going to focus right in on that layer. So it's a bit like a like a Rubik's Cube, you can just keep layering and twisting it and getting the oh, bits that so you want. Oh, you've got bits and yep. cut bits and, oh, I think everybody's going to have to um, really You have to see it to experiment. believe it, yeah, you are. Yeah. Also with this one, there is like a little ribbon threader, so it cuts like little slots in the end and you can thread a ribbon through it. And I think this one in the middle looks like it might be that brackets the brackets die, one of the really original, the square oh, bracket. Yeah. I think if you cut the smallest one of that, you could actually do a label and sit it on the top if you wanted to put your greeting on it. That's very true. I'm just going to focus back on these beautiful cards again. So I'll tilt that one up so you can get a look. All I've done with this is stuck it on transparency as well. Yeah, that's really cool. That was a lovely idea because when it's closed, just close it, it looks like one complete card. It's only when you open it that you realise that there's the film in between. It's just lovely and you can put a gorgeous greeting on the inside there. So I love that. And then this one is just the outside frame. It's just frame. the outside frame. And then my friend Anne made this card and what she's done is she's not cut the outside one. She's done it out of one of the um, Graphic 45 secret garden papers which already had this size mount on it. Oh, if you just right. slip over this way Adrian you'll see one on that piece of paper there. So she's left, taken this outside but. frame off and then just cut what you see there plus this one in the middle and that's what she's got. So that's how she's achieved that look is those dies that are stacked there. 
so clever. Oh, I think our customers are going to have fun with this. And then she's just added a little bit of glossy accents on there just oh, to yes, get can see, can you see the shine. Yeah. We've got that in the little bottles, which is really handy when you're taking it away places. You know, you don't have to take the big bottles. Oh, yeah, I agree. Okay, so, so now Wendy's going to show us first the papers. The papers right, so we've got... Um, this is the Secret Garden in the Graphic 45. Yes. Double-sided papers. So this has got all the perfect size to fit that, that particular die. Yes. Oh, it's very pretty paper, this. Beautiful, gorgeous. Oh, that's a good one. This one you can do some of your smaller elements with, and a lot of the other Spellbinders dies fit it really well as well. Yes. A nice back for contrast. This one I found fitted really nicely into one of the brand new uh, circle dies that came out in the last release oh, as well, okay. which I think we'll list on. Um, yes, under Wendy's World. To let, yes. let you know which ones fit it, because I've created a card with it, which we'll show you just now. And then I love yeah, the little tiles, like little the little postage, postage stamps. Yeah, very and nice. I've actually done a card with those, but we'll get to that in a moment. I'll just show you this range as well. This is French country. Oh. Same so sort of yummy. thing though, um, it just is, a exactly. totally, yeah, yep. just a different kind of ways of things. Look at that. My yes. friend that loves sunflowers would be into that one. Yeah, that's And a nice lovely. stripe that you can cut. These, these designs are gorgeous, cut out of pattern paper as well as plain. Yes, they I do. I love this one. There's another of the postcards. So back and front. That's nice too. I quite like yeah. that shape. And there's bound to be a spellbinders that you can cut that one out of. Yeah. You know, even if you incorporate a little bit of the the surrounding and do it in an oval shape. Yes. So that's those ones. Now I'll come around and talk about these cards that we've got round here. Oh, and they are just beautiful. Now these aren't done with those dies, but with other new spellbinder dies. Hey. Some of the new range. Yes. Yeah. So this one here, it's I've done an embossed background. The same die I've used to cut the one below. Come and go in so close so we can see that embossed. Just background. embossing, yeah. And then I've layered another one over the top. That's a totally different die. And the little tiles on it, I've used Versamark ink on the little stamp, um, the little postage. Oh, on stamp top of the little paper. Yep. So you trim just trim those out. Yes. Press them into the Versamark and do two or three layers of your clear embossing powder. So clear embossing, and then just and then heat, heat it, it with a heat gun, and, and look it at comes that. up like amazing little tiles. And I like to bend them, so some of them got little cracks in them, which is really cool. It makes it look like an old tile that's been yes, it does. distressed. It's very pretty. Now I'm just going to show that embossed background and then and drop then down. And then cut. So if you just want to emboss, you just use your embossing. Don't do the cut first, but if you want it cut as a frame, then you can cut as well. So a lot of people forget that you can just emboss the dies. You don't have to cut them. Yeah, it's a very good idea because it gives a completely different pretty look. And then the other cards, I've used a lot of resin, like used my pinky cell moulds and made, made resin flowers to go on them, like this one here. Little resin frames. This Most of the cards so cool. feature resin in, in some fashion. They really are beautiful cards, Wendy. And this paper... Oh, the paper just does it. You yeah. don't really need to do much else, basically. Just beautiful. That is so cool. So remember, ladies, this week we are looking at Spellbinder's Majestic Elements um, and some of the other new ones, and then, of course, the Graphic 45 paper. Have fun looking, and don't forget the blog competition because we want to know how many different ways you can use these majestic one elements set, dies. Yeah, one set of the dies. One set and show us all the different things that you can do with them. Um, also to remember this week we will be telling you on the blog who's won the last two weeks of March. Oh. Woohoo! And see who's won with their blog post. Go and have a look at the blog and see what's on there. It's really cool. We'll see you again we'll see you soon. soon. Bye! Bye.